Hey gamers, I am Zero Kimchi. Welcome to my channel. Three days ago, at the time of posting this video, Simco activated automatic builds on his CMU repository. These builds appear whenever Simco pushes a commit to the project. They can either constitute substantial changes or not. That said, do not expect big changes on every build. For today's video, I will be guiding you on how to get CMU for Android and how to set it up and some footage afterwards. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. Enjoy the video. To use CMU, you first need to acquire dumped games and keys from your actual owned hardware. The format I recommend is... This is gonna sound funny. Wua, Wood and Wux. Wua is a decrypted format that does not require keys. Wood and Wux do need keys in order for CMU to validate and show the games. The eShop games, however, are formatted differently, which the guides cover. I won't be covering how to do all this. I will, however, drop links to those guides in the description and pinned comment below. Once you follow through those guides and obtain the games and keys, visit Simco's CMU repository and download CMU. Once installed, let's add a game path. Now let's see what the rest of the settings offer. On this menu, you can adjust overlay settings to your liking. If you use a controller, in the controller screen you can select the type of controller you would like to use. You got the choice of the Wii U gamepad, Wii U Pro controller and Wii U Classic controller. Using the Wii U gamepad is recommended. I have experienced the key mappings for the other controller styles to wipe every time I close the emulator. In the graphic settings, there are just a few options. Personally, I have not experienced any change after disabling or enabling these, so I just leave them at default. The audio settings with some basic settings. Now, in graphic packs, you may want to click on the download icon on the upper right corner. This will download all available mods for the games you currently have. And lastly, overlay settings for hardware analytics and debugging features. Let's now install the keys to make your games appear. All you need to do is copy paste it in the CMU root folder. Once that is done, completely shut down CMU and reopen it. Now all your games or missing games from encrypted games will show. And that's it for setting up CMU. Easy peasy. It's time for some showcases. New Super Mario Bros. U crashes on the title screen. To fix this, you need to go to the Graphic Packs settings, look for the game and enable the available workaround for it.
私が守,っ守ってもらわなくて結構この宿屋おいお前らやめろあなんだてめえおっ And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time.